God's name is Yahuwah, or Yahweh, or Elohim. Jesus' name is Yahusha, or Yeshua, or Yahawashah. The Holy Spirit's name is Rahakadesh. These are their original Hebrew names. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. John 5, 43. Exodus 31, 12 through 14. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily, my Sabbaths ye shall keep. For it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations that ye may know that I am the Lord that doeth sanctify you. Ye shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy unto you. Every one that defileth it shall surely be put to death. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Dad, as I bow before you today, I want to thank you for the privilege. I want you to know how much I love you, Father. I thank you for being our God and Father. I thank you for Yahusha, and I thank you for your Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. I thank you that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess Yahushua as Lord and Savior for all of us. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for the healing of our minds, our bodies, and souls. I thank you for our families. I thank you. I love you, Dad. Dad, I thank you for ministering to us today. I thank you for everything in the name of Yahushua, I pray. Psalm 41, 1 through 7. My heart is indicting a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made touching the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Thou art fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured into thy lips. Therefore, God hath blessed thee forever. Gird thy sword upon thy thigh, O most mighty with thy glory and thy majesty. And in thy majesty ride prosperously because of truth and meekness and righteousness. And thy right hand shall teach thee terrible things. Thine arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies whereby the people fall under thee. Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore God, thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. I want to reread verse 7. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore God, thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. I found out when Yahuwah measures a man the tape is placed around his heart. I found out sometimes when we are so busy, 
Sometimes we are so busy adding up our troubles that we forget to count our blessings. Listen, falling down doesn't make you a failure, but staying down does. I found out he who forms the mountains creates the wind and reveals his thoughts to man. He who turns dawn to darkness and treads the high places of the earth. The Lord Yahuwah God Almighty is his name. Amos 4, 13. God is speaking to you here. Here. There is an anointing of gladness which is so great and wonderful that few of my children can even begin to comprehend it. This anointing identifies you with me and with the Father. It is the same covering as the Father's. Seek no other covering than the covering of the anointing which comes from me. All other coverings are only coverings of the flesh, and they will leave you naked on the great day when all must stand before my throne to give account of what they are wearing. But this covering of blood is extremely costly and few are willing to pay the price for this anointing. One must begin by loving righteousness and hating wickedness. There must be a complete turning away from all that would destroy, mar, and contaminate your spiritual, eternal life. Do you love righteousness? Do you hate wickedness? The only way to hate wickedness is to love righteousness. Hating wickedness is surely the result of loving righteousness. The more you love righteousness, the more you will hate wickedness. And in that loving and following after righteousness, there is a glorious anointing, for my anointing is bound together with righteousness. Many, when they had the anointing, when they walked in righteousness, have lost it because they have forsaken the ways of righteousness and have begun to love wickedness and do wicked deeds. Call to all you know who have had the anointing to come out of that which destroys them and return again to me, that they again can be anointed with gladness. Call on all of them that had the anointing and lost it. And you who have never lost the anointing of gladness, rejoice in me this day. And again, I say rejoice. For you possess and are blessed with the anointing of gladness. When you pray to him, you might want to say, to him thank you for being my God thank you for the privilege of fellowship with you thank you for Yahusha thank you for Rahakadash your Holy Spirit thank you for your favor thank you for the privilege of prayer my hope is in you because you are greater than anything I face. My hope is in you because you are making a new way for me. And my hope is in you because you love me unconditionally. Thank you. I love you. 
In Yahushua's name I pray. You be blessed now. You hear? Peace.